The identical twins Jim Lewis and Jim Springer who grew up in different Ohio cities did not meet until they were 40 and still discovered that both the twins bit their fingernails down to the nub they both drove light blue Chevrolets they both had mixed headache syndromes beginning in their teenage years and they both liked their vacation on the same three block strip on the beach in Florida the Jim twins both named their sons James Allen both of the twins had worked part time in sheriff's office and part time at McDonald's And if that was not enough, both twins had married women named Linda, divorced them, and married women named Betty. And they loved to scatter love letters around the house for their wives. But before we move on, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for more such content. This is the Parrot Speak. You are ready to wake up. You're going to wake up. For most of human history, psychologists believe that we are largely products of our environment. Twin studies can act as a natural experiment to test some of the biggest questions of human nature. It tells us that so many more of our behaviors than we ever would have imagined are influenced by our genes. Twin studies allow researchers to examine the overall role of genes in the development of a trait or disorder. Comparisons between identical or fraternal twins are conducted to evaluate the degree of genetic and environmental influence on a specific trait. Twin studies are not for twins. They are a research paradigm for how we understand genetic environmental influence on development in the population at large. That is that the environment can also shape in who we become in profound ways just like our genes. Identical twins result when a single fertilized egg divides sometimes between 1st and the 14th day after conception. They share all their genes and are always of the same sex. Fraternal twins result when a woman releases two eggs at the same time and separately fertilizes sperm from the father. These twins share half the genes on average just like ordinary siblings. In virtually every test, identical twins tend to be more alike than fraternal twins, which suggests that genes do play a role in the development of a trait. On the other hand, identical twins are never perfectly matched, so it becomes interesting to see the differences and how to explain them. Results from twin studies may suggest that a particular trait or disorder has a genetic component, but this does not provide information about the location of this gene. Nevertheless, twin designs and methods are extremely useful for understanding the extent to which psychological and medical disorders as well as behaviors and traits are influenced by genetic factors. This information can then be used to develop better ways to prevent and treat disorders and maladaptive behaviors. Indeed, some of the most effective treatments for medical disorders have been developed partly as a result of twin study research. Most studies use identical twins raised together, but studying the rare pairs of identical twins reared apart is even better because if identical twins raised apart are as alike as identical twins raised together, then this is even more compelling evidence that genes are more important in our development than the environment. Nancy L. Siegel, an American evolutionary psychologist and behavioral geneticist in her book Accidental Brothers, tells the unique story of two sets of identical Colombian twin brothers who discovered at the age of 25 that they were mistakenly raised as fraternal twins when they were not even biological brothers. Due to an oversight that presumably occurred in the hospital nursery, one twin in each pair was switched with the twin in the other pair. The result was two sets of unrelated fraternal twins. George and Carlos who were raised in the lively city of Bogota and William and Wilbur who were raised in the remote rural village of La Paz 150 miles away their parents and siblings were aware of the enormous physical and behavioral differences between the members of each set but never doubted that the two belonged in their biological families everyone's life unraveled when one of the twins William was mistaken by a young woman for his real identical twin George her discovery led to the truth that the alleged twins were not twins at all but rather unrelated individuals who ended up with the wrong families researchers who study twins know of many examples of identical twins raised apart but two sets of identical twins where one from each pair was switched to the other home it had never been documented before it was a tragedy a soap opera and a science experiment all rolled into one twin studies have drawn an extraordinary amount of controversy If genes determine our intelligence and personalities, what is to say about the differences we see in society between people? Although we've seen how impossible it is to separate the effect of genes from the environment in any person.
If biology explains intelligence, why bother with public education? After all, if we are smart, it's because of our genes. If we are dumb, it's because of our genes. Just as people are wrong in thinking that genes explain everything in our lives, those who say that our environment explains everything are also missing a crucial point. The environment we find ourselves in are themselves shaped by the propensities that are encoded in our genes, especially when it comes to the human behavior. Nature and nurture really are inextricably intertwined. If you like this video, be sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel.